Hi, you're probably wondering why I have a background full of balloons. It's a celebration. You're almost done with this course. And then you have two weeks off, unless you're graduating, in which case you're done. So let me get to the point and let's finish everything up. The name of this course is Writing in Various Situations. And as you were wrestling through that personal essay you're all done with, you wondered, is there really a point to what we're doing? And the answer is yes. And it is in the course outcomes that our department and the university have established. Um, the first is that you were supposed to analyze and evaluate complex print, digital, and multimodal texts that engage significance. I can't read, but you can. Okay, have you done that? Yes, you have analyzed and evaluated a variety of mentor texts, um, blogs, student essays, articles on writing personal essays, articles on writing resumes, and an actual job posting. I threw in an academic text just for fun, but in reality, most of the texts you will be reading, analyzing, and evaluating for your jobs and in the real world will not be academic texts. You'll have to analyze and evaluate manuals, customer letters that come in to you, um, forms that other employees send in. You will be doing this kind of analysis in a variety of ways, not really writing about the analysis, but making judgments based on that analysis. And so you did a lot of that this summer. Um, another outcome is that you were supposed to apply rhetorical principles appropriate to different purposes and goals. You have definitely done that. E. Shelley Reed emphasizes the importance of knowing your audience and then adapting to that audience so that you can achieve your purpose. This assumes that your writing does have a purpose, which it will in the real world. And it also assumes that you've taken to know about your audience, not just that they're there, but you know who they are, what they value, what matters to them, what they believe. And so you can adapt to that audience. So you can figure out when it is valuable to evoke emotions, which emotions, how do you do that? How can you build your identity so that your audience trusts you? Is the best way of doing that to show that you're knowledgeable? Is the best way to be concerned for your audience, demonstrate that or to share their values? You have to determine that based on your audience. You're gonna also have to make your point seem logical for this audience because different audiences will judge logic in different ways. You'll also, another outcome is researching and contributing to specific areas of inquiry, evaluating, synthesizing, and integrating strategies and sources appropriate to genre. This was a tough one, I know, for a lot of you who in your personal essays, you wanted to integrate sources the same way you would for an academic source. And I said, no, that doesn't work for this genre. And I turned you back to your mentor text and said, how is that source doing it? So you use sources a variety of ways in your personal essays, in your blogs, in discussion boards, and in resumes. Sometimes you let the sources inform the way you did things. Sometimes you summarized, sometimes you quoted. There are a lot of sources and there are many ways to use them. And you've done that. You've also integrated a lot of writing strategies because there are more writing strategies than just the kind you use in academic papers. Sometimes that will feel more comfortable and sometimes not. You also had to adapt and employ conventions to uh, communicate with a variety of audiences. You definitely did that. You were forced to write different genres and different audiences. So you wrote to your classmates. I saw your blogs. 
I saw your discussion boards, and honestly, you wrote differently depending on which thing you were writing for. Because it matters. Genre influences the way we write. And so I want you to be aware of that. Um, you wrote differently for your potential employers. You wrote differently for me. And then there was that magazine audience that you chose. And you wrote differently based on that. You had to have compose a variety of texts working individually and collaboratively through processes of drafting, critiquing, reflecting, and editing. And you did some of that collaboratively with your peer review. Some of that by gathering information and sharing it about resumes and personal essays. <sighs> yes, a variety of texts. You're almost done. This is all you've got. Blog comments, final drafts of the resume and cover letter, and an essay that analyzes the writing you've done this summer. Yes, another genre. But this one's more like the genre that you normally use because you can write it like an academic essay. So, that's it. We're done. It's been a great summer. Thank you for being great students. And um, yeah, I have nothing left to say. So let me end this and we.